All right, so we were out here looking at arrow weights, and I've convinced him that he probably needs to shoot a little bit heavier <laughs> arrow. This is what he's been shooting. Um, we'll take a look here. Maybe if it'll focus. <laughs> 360. Is it 360? Yeah. So he's been shooting a 360 arrow. Um, 125 heads. No, 120 or 100. 100 heads. Heads. He fell into that speed thing. So we came out to the range today, and we're going to show the difference between having a 300 grain or 360 grain arrow. That's to, flying probably pretty quick. I bet you that yeah. thing's boogieing. Um, we really need a chrono. But it has no FOC and it has, um, and it's it's a light arrow. And now he, this is what he's looking at shooting and that's what, kind of what we're going on. So th this is a grizzly stick and it's at 604 grains. 604. And it's, and it's, got, it's got a 75 grain outsert on it with a 150 grain uh, broadhead. And this is this is a 240 spine. That's one of the arrows I'm looking at to shoot. Then it, it's the same same arrow. It's a grizzly stick, but this is a 320 spine with a 75 grain outsert with a 125 grain head. And it weighs in at right around 570, 560. Yep. I think if you run the numbers, it says 575. Yeah. But if you look at your chart. We'll look here, and your FOC, we came up to be about 19%. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect what we're looking for is 19% FOC. So, yeah, let's uh, shoot them and show you the difference. This is what I did shoot. And we're shooting at 30 yards right now. And now you're shooting which one? So this one's what, 500 and yeah, five, 575? Five, 575 like with 19 percent FOC because it's at 28 inches, and his draw length's way off. He needs adjusted. The another thing that we found out is shooting this these heavier arrows, his bow's quieted down, and his arrows fly awesome with the FOC. <laughs> So here's the difference between a light and a heavy arrow. This is the reason a lot of people are shooting light arrows right there, is because uh, your trajectory is different. But when you start talking hunting ranges, um, what what are you shooting? The hunting range. What 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 the, would be your the farthest shot? Is probably 40 yards. I mean, yeah, probably. In, in southern Oregon, you're not going to get a farther shot than unless that. you're like shooting mule deer yeah. or antelope. So at 30 yards, so that's about a foot. That's about a foot for a heavier arrow. You don't see much difference between the 170 or the 575 green and the 600 green, but you do see a big difference between 300. I mean, this is twice. So this arrow and this arrow. I mean, this is double the greens as this arrow. Right. So. Right. But when you're shooting sights, 
All you do is adjust your sight plane. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Everybody wants that flat trajectory. Yeah. And if you think that you're going to be able to beat an animal's reaction time with a faster bow, you're crazy. Well, I mean, we're only talking feet per second. It's not like... Well, we're... You, you know what a, a, the average guy's hand movement is? 250 feet per second. Mm -hmm. Now you put an animal to that. Mm -hmm. 